Now we know over the months the importance of keeping kids in the classroom, so we wanted to do an investigation on how this relates to cases and COVID and our own Ashley Lincoln's been working on this for days. What we found was that there were significant reductions in their learning growth. Uh, and those continued throughout last school year. That's Tim Sass, researcher with Maple, the Metro Atlanta Policy Lab for Education under Georgia State University. When the pandemic hit, uh, we kind of dropped everything else and focused in on the impacts of the pandemic on students. He says since the start of the pandemic, Maple Research how Georgia students adapted to the virtual learning space in 2020. Researchers used assessment tests taken by students. Their studies found the pandemic and school closures had a negative impact on student achievement growth. Students were in some cases, uh, as much as three quarters of a school year behind. The study showed while there were some strides with a small percentage of students, children near the poverty line and marginalized minority groups saw the biggest setbacks. Issues with access to devices in some cases or access to high speed internet. There were job losses, food insecurity in some cases, housing insecurity. Channel 2 Action News found Maple doesn't just sit on this data. They sent it to several Metro Atlanta school partners for them to use to improve their virtual learning space. I think that school districts have learned a lot about virtual instruction. Uh, they had this all sort of thrown at them uh, last March. Students do need support if they're going to be working from home. Fulton County Public Schools Academic Officer Dr. Jima Whitaker told me they used this data to rework their virtual structure. Some of these things were birthed out of necessity from the pandemic. As part of their new virtual program, the district is offering additional tutors, more interactive teaching sessions, and in-person check-ins. The adults are able to check in on students and connect with them to ensure that there isn't a feeling of isolation. Ashley Lincoln back live for us now. Ashley, we have the numbers. That's great. That's fine. But where do we go from here? What's next? Well, we found that Maple, they are continuing assessing students through last summer and this upcoming school year. They did release their data from their summer assessment of students, and they found that students were only, they only made up about half a month of education that was lost from the previous school year. However, they're still sending that data to local school districts, and those districts say that they're incorporating more tutoring sessions to allow these students to catch up on a year that caused a lot of students to fall behind, George. Again, having that data, that's going to make a difference. Ashley Lincoln live into cab for us with an important story impacting so many. Thank you again.